Hello guys! Flash Light Enthusiast here. As you can see today again uh, something interesting, something uh, probably not reviewed much uh, and again I got this flashlights from Adrian D for testing, thank you so much for that. Um, actually I, I, I was considering buying this uh, Mio T FM1 flashlight for quite a long time but after seeing some uh, not very positive feedback on the forums. I decided to you know wait a bit, and actually I got a surprise, and uh, a friend of mine <laughs> sent this one for me to to test them. So I've got the opportunity, guys, to show you what this fuss is all about. So let's wait no further. Let's see what we've got in the box, and the box is really interesting. I mean, this is the the project of uh, one of our forum members, um, Free Me. Uh, actually, you know, cooperated with uh, with some Chinese manufacturer and produced their own uh, flashlight, which was obviously uh, influenced again by the design of FW3A. Uh, and again, uh, this one is a little bit different, but shares very uh, very few of their uh, initial designs. So as you can see. Uh, this one has some glue on it so don't bother with this one i don't know if it was just from the factory uh, because uh, again i got this from testing so we've got some product specs here so as you can see you can choose from xpil hard to sst20 and even samsung lh351d which is definitely a nice addition uh, 18650 battery obviously uh, smooth ramping this one uses undrill and uh, for xpil high they advertise like almost 5000 lumens which I would definitely consider checking because it seems a little bit unrealistic. Uh, runtime depends on the battery, obviously IPX7 and 2 meters impact resistance. Oh, not bad. Uh, and definitely a nice design of the box is black matte. Oh my, I like this. I like this one. And here we've got obviously the box from LH351D 5000K. You have some uh, configuration. Uh, check right there uh, so as you can see you've got only three options like cool white xpl high uh, neutral white is lh351d 5000k which i've got right here and we've got also like warmer tin sst20 obviously high cri uh, so definitely a nice addition i also i've got two versions of them the other one is uh, the sst20 4000k which is one blue and the black one is lh351d so let's see what we've got here in the box all right so the box opens up from above and well let's see what we've got here under this black foam it was the flashlight itself so definitely well protected from all the sides and in this second section we've got some accessories uh, so here in this bag we've got two spur o-rings and that's all then we get some I'm trying not to break it uh, we also have the manual all right the manual uh, in Chinese yeah we've got the manual in Chinese on the second side we've got manual in English with some under UI diagram and quick start guide so definitely and also got some specs here and Mio T electronics uh, okay so that, that's 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 nice addition that's a nice addition, definitely. Uh, I always like this one. And wow, we also have a holster. Look at that one. Oh, close from the floor. Oh wow, this Velcro is pretty strong. All right, let's see how it actually fits in this holster. I don't know whether it's this way or this way. Probably this way. Yeah, definitely this way. Okay, so you've got some nice fitting. A little bit too tight, so I wouldn't worry that the flashlight will, you know, uh, 
so you'll use actually the flashlight from this holster. I wouldn't worry for that. And you've got this belt clip, like this one, solid plastic. Uh, and that's it, no loop, no, no D-ring as you can see. Uh, but you can probably attach here some lanyard or, or something like that. Uh, definitely unique design, I, I haven't seen this one uh, in standard, you know, probably it, it uses the, the material belt loop and D-ring, uh, but this one is definitely a nice design. Okay. Okay, so let's put it aside and show you the flashlight itself. Alright, as you can see we've got some auxiliary LEDs, this one does not have battery yet to show you the, the design internally, uh, but as you can see it uses the quad optics, this is not car glow mind you, this one is probably their own design like in the case of uh, software and IF25A that I reviewed on this channel, you can check it right there. Uh, so yeah, design wise this flashlight is amazing, I mean outstanding design. Uh, this um, uh, this shiny clip, the analyzation quality, and the this copper pill. Wow, guys, th th this one is definitely making a huge impression on me. And the switch. Let me let me uh, show you. Just hear that. Oh wow! I can click this one all day. It is. Oh, guys. Definitely one of my favorite. One of my favorite, definitely. So free me with this this company. Definitely paid a lot of attention to details. Look at the screws down there. Uh, the model engraved here, Miodio on the clip, and the side switch, the tail switch actually has some logo to it. Very, very nice. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. So. Okay, let's show you the insides. Actually, as I told you, this one actually incorporates some design of FW3A. As you can see, we've got another nice threads here. And these are actually squared. So nice, very nice. And we've got double spring here. A little bit awkward, you know, unscrew the, the tail cup with the clip attached, but it's okay. We've got double springs for lower resistance, which is very, very nice addition. And uh, the one annoying thing I noticed there is that this tube is actually detachable, right? So this is the tube that actually uh, transferred the signal from the switch, so that you may have the electronic switch on the tail, tail cup and driver here uh, in the head of the flashlight. So if this one is a little bit loose, and you actually put the battery on screw, then we want to you know, take out the battery. Uh, this will may actually put the battery tube uh, as well. Uh, it might be quite annoying. Uh, at least it was for me. Uh, okay. So let me show you the other end of the flashlight. So you can also unscrew this one. It goes much harder than the tail cup. So I would probably suggest unscrewing this one from the tail cup. Uh, so you can take out the copper pill as you can look this one is pretty heavy definitely nice heat dissipation here it was uh, very very well thought in the design of this flash especially at this powerful as you can see you've got some reflashing pins to you know update your uh, software on the flashlight mm, and you've got this brass ring uh, so definitely lower resistance than the spring uh, and you've got the, the tube here alright let's load up the battery and the one thing I noticed is that when you load up the battery with the fully tightened tail cup from the head side you actually have this gap here. I mean, uh, uh, it looks like the flashlight won't screw down to the to the very end. So what I will do is just loosen the tail cap just a little bit, and now I can tighten the head to the end. 
as you can see right now, all right? And now I can tighten the tail cap again. Pretty weird, huh? And we've got these auxiliary LEDs. Uh, it uses Unreal, so I won't go into details right now because I've done a special video for you guys, so you can definitely check it right there in the corner uh, as I demonstrate all the functions of Unreal. But for now, let's just stick to the basic features. So just one click for on, one click for all. This click is noisy, definitely noisy, so you won't miss out the click. Very nice. Okay, uh, so this one is the LH351D. And for me, this one is definitely a winner uh, over the SSD20 that I reviewed here. Uh, I will tell you in a minute why. So basically, from on, you hold the side switch to ramp up and down. Uh, yes, and double click for turbo, obviously. Mm, I don't know if it's just my samples that are a little bit dirty or or this the, 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 the Miot itself, but uh, I would only comment uh, at the you know basis of, of my samples because I wouldn't want to make some false uh, assumptions. Um, but this one simply flickers on the higher modes. As I ramp up, you can actually see the flickering and I'm not touching the side the switch. Alright, so I, I suspect some connections problems there. Uh, maybe some dirty contacts, I don't know. Uh, but hitting the turbo definitely does not help. All right, so for lower modes, definitely uh, no issues. So probably the higher currents give you some troubles there. Mm, all right, as with SST 20 LEDs, uh, this one has some blind spot on the optics. It is not the case with LH351D, as you can see, no blind spot there, but with SST20s, probably the, the area of the LED is smaller, so that's that's the case, but uh, it bothers me. Maybe some users will not even see this one, but, uh, you know, I'm a flashlight enthusiast. Uh, it, it bothers me, definitely. Uh, this flashlight costs around $60, so it's a shame that uh, with some LED configuration and the, the same optics, the, the beam pattern is something like that. I mean, it, for me, it is unacceptable. For such a price, oh. And of course, uh, now you cannot see the flickering. I cannot see them too, so this one does not flicker. Uh, and that's nice. Uh, another uh, difference that I noticed actually uh, is obviously the copper peel will heat up pretty, uh, pretty, you no know, faster than the aluminium body. So during my test, I actually recorded like 40 degrees here, 50 degrees here, and again 40 degrees here. So uh, definitely, heat dissipation is excellent on this flashlight. Uh, it does hold the the turbo mode much longer uh, than MSR or or Noctigon because of the you know that the mass simply the, this flashlight is heavy this flashlight is definitely heavy so for heat dissipation is definitely a plus for pocket carry uh, well I don't know how are your preferences but uh, I wouldn't say it's too heavy for for pocket carry all right guys uh, so let's go outside and show you uh, how they operate uh, show you the beam pattern in the forest with Samsung LH351D55 and KLEDs. This is the default mode after loading out the batteries. Let's go to turbo mode. Wow! That's a huge amount of light on this little thing. Oh wow, look at this. Close period, it's everything. A wall of light, I must say. So definitely not a thrower. More like a flutter EDC flashlight. My sample is flickering a bit, but I'm sure this is just my sample. With some dirty connections. I might have to clean it up. And let's ramp it down. This is the max ramp. So again, pretty good. And flickering. And some beautiful auxiliary LEDs 
you can actually change the color if you like different auxiliary this indicating for me that this is the SST20 version 4000K95 Siri as you can see in the beam there are some blind spots in the center of the optics uh, and this is only with this SST20 version in my sample so LH351D is free of that let's jump to max ramp oh yeah pretty nice for a flashlight this compact Oh wow, definitely a wall of light illuminating everything in my sight in 30 meters I guess. And now the turbo mode, not a huge jump but still noticeable. Yeah, definitely a nice pocket flashlight. I guess if the blind spot in the optic doesn't bother you at the longer distance, and I have to admit it's almost unnoticeable, then you cannot go wrong with this flashlight on the real 18650 with LEDs nice output and really really excellent finish and build quality all right let's drop it down all right guys let's sum it up uh, again Adrian thank you so much for uh, allowing me to test them for you uh, and to show you guys the my impressions on this flashlight uh, for me this flashlight is definitely an excellent designed piece of equipment i mean the heat dissipation the the, the finish on this one the, the uh, attention to details uh, is definitely outstanding guys i i'm really impressed with this one let me click oh my gosh i'm really you know a little bit disappointed with uh, some features of this flashlight i mean this flickering um and this blind spot in optics uh, i think this one with some more careful mm, you no know, quality control issues maybe uh, could be easily avoided so i have nothing against the the, the designer uh, or mm, you know the the project of this flashlight which i think is very excellent but but probably quality check could be done a little bit better so definitely an excellent design flashlights uh, if i could recommend uh, one one f uh, of these uh, for you guys i would definitely recommend the lh351d version because of neutral tint uh, a little bit more power uh, and obviously uh, no blind spots in the optics so i definitely could recommend this one for you uh, if it does not flicker but the sst20 version uh, assuming from my sample and the optics uh, i would definitely avoid this version at all so guys Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video click the like button and hit the subscribe button because more videos are on the way. And as always guys, stay safe and we will see you in the next one.